You know what's mine is yours, and riches are in rags. You have my guarantee. And if you take a trip, who's carrying your bags? You'll see. It's me. <laughs> when it comes to tried and true companions, we're the best of all. Nothing in this world can separate us. When you trip, I fall. What would we do without each other? Wednesday matinee performance at home. We're in Linda Lavin's lovely apartment, three floors above mine. Welcome to you all. We're so glad you're here, and we're so grateful to be doing this. We're excited. This is our fourth week, right? Fourth week, four in a row. We think we might get picked up next season. I know, so I'm saying if we keep doing the ratings go up, we're going to get picked up for another season. So. We have some requests. Some of you have been writing in, and we're going to answer your couple of requests. We're very happy to be here, very grateful to be here in this lovely apartment. Doug uh, Major is ours, the, the Thank cameraman. You, Thank you, Doug. And uh, here we are to acknowledge the time, the pressure, the sadness, the stress of what's going on, and to bring some I'm not stressed joy to <sighs> to you at this time. It's countrywide. We're in the epicenter of it. And we want to sing some songs that tell you how we feel and give you some hope and some comfort and some joy. Will you sing this pretty song? I will. Jerome Kern. Here's a song I loved since I was seven years old, and I'm singing it to this person on the right. My husband, who's very far away now, this is for him. This is for you, Steve. Long ago and far away, I dreamed a dream one day, and now that dream is here beside me. Long the skies were overcast, now the clouds have course we're all binging shows and watching movies now because we're we're homebound so one day I wrote to you and I said oh my god cover girl is on TCM cover girl is the movie that I saw at my seventh birthday party was a movie party sure. my mother made lunch and all us girls it was a girls party it was seven yeah. and we went to the movies and saw cover girl with Rita Hayworth <laughs> And she makes an entrance. I've never forgotten that. 
she makes an entrance down a ramp that goes from about 6th to 7th Avenue. It's <laughs> the longest ramp you've ever right. seen, and it's circuitous. Sure. And she floats down this ramp, and I was seven years old, and that was the day that I decided, this is what I'm going to be. I'm going to be a performer. Wow. That happened at seven. That's now, what I hadn't remembered, that's, go ahead, finish it. I want no, to that was the moment that you pinpointed that you wanted to go At my it. seventh birthday party, that when I saw Rita Hayworth come down a ramp, I decided that's what I'd like to be doing is floating down ramps for the rest of my life. Not yet to float on a ramp. There's but, still time. Oh, I hope so. Yes. It was magnificent. She was magnificent. And the payoff is watching this movie last week long ago and far away is from this movie it's in the overture i wrote to billy i said oh my god it's everywhere it's everywhere it's 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 this is where i first saw it so mm -hmm. isolation folks and that's what we're all experiencing has gotten me in touch with memories and sometimes it's a happy memory I love that sometimes. <laughs> but how great to be able to pinpoint the exact moment that wow. you saw something you went that's, that's it. what I want to do. That's what I want I to do. I think that's pretty fabulous. It is. Yeah, it it's is. just great. I'm excited that I know the moment of my inspiration. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people ask you, you know, who inspired you. Yeah. And sometimes I don't remember. But boy, I remember now. That came loud as a bell. I right? know. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 It's a good story. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Mm. So, okay. The, now, I know that this sounds silly. But there have been times when I've wished I was a country singer. Really? There, yes, I know. It, because there's a certain freedom to it. There's a gutsiness. There's a sexiness to it. And um, so I'd love to do a kind of a, it's not exactly, it's more like trailer country. Yeah. But it's not real. It's authentic. A, it's not yeah. Trisha Yearwood. Boy, did you see her the other night with uh, oh, with Garth? Garth, so great. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, those, those chops, the way they play and sing together. Very moving. They're very, very, moving. very much in love. You I can think. tell. You see it. You hear it. The music is so. Anyway, so this is not Trisha Yearwood. Hi, Trisha. I hope you're watching. I love you, but this is not you. This is just some fun. This is yeah. This is Sammy Conn and Julie Stein's version of okay, the song. Okay, that's true. Right? Yes, Here we okay. go. Oh. 
of not country. It's not country at no. all, actually. No, no. But it's um, twangy. Twangy. And yeah. folksy. It's twangy and folksy. And sweet and jazzy. And, and it's greenery. like what we love to do. Rogers and Hart, Mountain Greenery. No kidding. Jerome Kerr, I mean, Julie Stein, Sammy Kahn. I don't know who wrote the Green Acres theme. I'm sure Paul Henning had something to do with it because he created that show, so. And he was also a composer? Well, I don't know, but oh, I'm sure okay. he probably said yes, no, whatever, but oh, we could I look see. that up. Somebody I'm sure someone up, will Google it right now and let us know. I'm sure they will, Green Acres. God, that's uh, a fun medley, isn't it? It's, it's kind just, of fun. Well, yeah. you know, uh, it's the country. It's folksy. Yes, Mountain Greenery Yeah, that's a great song, it's and it tells song. us something about uh, where uh, I'm happy to be in New York right now. I'm proud to be a New Yorker, I have to say. I'm proud to be here and to be part of the reality of what's happening. And I know a lot of people have run to the country, so that's why we wanted to sing to them, you, those of you who are in, in the, the country. country. Yeah, they're yeah. enjoying that. Yeah, I'm exactly. happy to be here in I the city. Too. I'm happy that With we live in the city. my for Scythia. Look, I, brought, I didn't go anywhere shopping. I, oh, didn't, go, uh, okay. I didn't buy flowers. This is... I don't think Do you see them in the I don't camera? think they would have known it was fake. I think it looked Well, really I, I want to tell the truth about everything. Sure. Oh, I want to tell them the truth. Can I share this now, please? Yeah, please? You see this book, it was on the piano last week. We didn't talk about it. This book was written and created by my sister, Jocelyn Pollard, who lives in Portland, Maine. And she's there right now. Well, I hope today. She, she made this. She's an artist. Yes. She's a, a collagist. And she also used to be a, a, a jeweler, so she made this beautiful piece of jewelry, made the book, made her own paper. She's classy and smart and brilliant, and I wanted to read you something that, uh, she's a poet. Hmm. So besides, and these are all her collages, and this book is called Altered, Altered Book. It's about uh, the, word, the word altered and how many words it has in it. This particular poem I wanted to share with you right now. It says, this is an altered book. Its content is but whimsy. The greatest stories have been told. Thus, this one's rather flimsy. Oh. She's well, a poet. Sure. Get it? Yeah, I get it. And these are her, I think this book should be in the museum. It's an American treasure. And I'll read you this one. See, these are stars. Uh -huh. And so the title of this chapter is called All Star stars, but the word is altered. So here we go, ready? Okay. Here we see two altered stars with an odd, wild, and zany look. They will not light your path into Mars, but they surely fit right in this book. Clever. Your sister Hi, clever. honey, just wanted to read that for you and let people know how brilliant you are. Gorgeous. She's clever. Yeah, she's yeah. clever, she's smart, she's funny. She's uh, got a very dry wit, which I love about yes, your sister. Yes, I know. Well, you spar with her very oh, well. well we, we don't spar, but yeah, we, we, we have a similar sensibility, I think. Uh, we Since we've been doing these shows, uh, this is our, like I said, our fourth week. Yeah. So it's been three week, three full weeks. Yeah. Um, and we've gotten such great feedback. Six from, feet apart, by the way. I just yeah, wanted to throw that apart. in. Don't no, worry. We're definitely six feet apart. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Uh, we got uh, lots of nice requests from friends and from people who've been watching. And so, uh, normal, we're not taking tons of requests, and but when we get a request we really like, yes, we try to honor it. And here are two songs that we we really happen to love. Yes. So we we kind of put them together. The first one is this song I'm gonna sing. Yes. And uh, then we're gonna go into the song that you're gonna that sing. Sounds okay. good.
hearing you play, my God, <laughs> who wrote Wonder Why? Uh, that's uh, Sammy Kahn and Nicholas Bronsky, I believe. Oh. It's from a film called, I think the movie's called Young, Rich, and Pretty. I think. Love it. Yeah. It's, it's my like one of those. Story. It's your it's the Linda Lavin story. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a MGM movie, probably like a B or a C musical. It's not your plant, but it's uh Who sang it, do you remember? Oh god. Because I, I have this, seen uh, this movie. I know this song and from way I back. know. Um, we'll find I, it, that's all right. I feel like it's uh Oh wow, it's so victim good. Uh, somebody like that. Victimone or um God, I just saw But that. the way you sing yours. Yeah. So that's well, all I care about. The well, way you found right. an old song and you make it like if you that's just came all up with I it care to tell about. Well, story. you know where I first heard it was my friend Charlie Cochran, who's a fantastic pianist and singer. He lives down West Palm Beach now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he recorded this like 15, 20 years ago. So I've loved it ever since I heard heard him do it. So I have to give him credit for that. I'll well. give him credit. credit I'm going to. Too. I'm actually going to do it. And that was actually, I sang that because that was a request from another great pianist in San Francisco, my friend Abe Batat. Um, so, hi Abe. Hope yeah. you're watching because that so, was for you. Watching. So, uh, listen, we got another request that we've gotten every week. So, yes, uh, finally, we're right. going to do a little of this for everybody because I know this is going to make people happy. It makes me happy to do it too. I've been watching it on antenna at night. Early to rise. Our generation kids and uh, I'm so happy that we did the song I know uh, I love seeing the uh, gosh seeing the reruns now and looking at how pretty and young everybody was and seeing those stories that we did and that boy and the and and the life that we did, that we showed that identified so many people yeah and for, for whom so many people identified which is why 
she was so successful. Yeah, yes. that still, still is. Yeah. Alice still lives. It was kind of ahead of its time. You tackled some issues, you know. I, I oh was, yeah. I was watching one last week, and it was you trying to explain to Tommy about you know the facts of life. It was yes. pretty heavy stuff for prime time back then, you know. Well, and they I, wouldn't let us use the word ovary twice. Oh, one you know, time. Yes. You can say ovary once. You can only say it once because it was just too, too sexy of a word. You know, just get people oh, all excited. Oh, that gets me all, ovary gets me yeah. all hot and bothered. Too. But, you know, the second episode we did, now that we're talking about it, the second episode, and this was 1976, was uh, Alice went out with this very handsome man. He'd been a football star, and he was Mel's friend. Uh -huh. And Mel fixed her up with him, and he took her to dinner and then came back to her house and... He was very remote and not, not at all affectionate, and, and Alice was concerned about whether she was attractive enough. And finally, he, he said, she said, are, are you married? Are you in a relationship? And he said, no, Alice, I have something to tell you. And this is 1976, and I don't think anybody had done it, certainly not in a sitcom. And she said, what's that? And he said, I'm gay. And that was the end of Act One. Wow. With Alice's mouth, her jaw dropped. And the, Act Two began with her saying, and that doesn't mean just happy. <laughs> That's a good line. Right. Good line. But yeah. we, we did tackle that, and we tackled Alice's um, fear about having her son uh, uh, hang out with, with him, go on a camping trip with him. And, and when the, we saw Alice change, and we saw how people can change, people can f come away from their rigidity. Sure. And so we, we did tackle a lot of subjects in a very fun, and then there were times when we just did food fights. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, jello at each too. other. So. Or I was Ray's. dressed up as a bunny or oh, an hamburger. Great, or great so. guest stars. Joel Gray, Martha Way, Jackie George Blaise, Burns, George Burns. Telly Savalas. Everybody great on that Bet, show. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, Bette Midler? No. <laughs> Not Bette Midler. No. Um, I don't know who you mean. But Debbie Reynolds. I would call Debbie Reynolds, sure. Debbie Reynolds. Everybody's great. I yeah, it was, we have, it was a wonderful show. And it was a wonderful time. Let's do another Rogers and Hart song. Okay. Okay, this was a song that you recorded on your first CD called Possibilities. Yeah. Um, and we did this for a long time, and uh, we got another request for this song. So let's, That's uh, right. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> There, there are people staying in hotel rooms now, and people staying in small spaces. Sure, sure. And it ain't so romantic now. 
I don't think so. But we can make it that way in some ways. Well, the song is romantic. So that's right. That's exactly. good. Exactly. Now that's I want good. you to do something. I'm going to do a song own. all by myself. This is a song that was uh, written by uh, the the people who uh, started our record label that, that your new CD is Which on. Which we do want to tell you about. Here it yes. is. Yes. It's called Love Notes. Yes, it's called Love Notes. And talk about the people. It was produced by Club 44 Records. And... Uh, uh, Club 44 Records is Wayne Hahn and Joel Lindsay, and uh, Ernie Haas is a partner in that as well. But uh, uh, Joel and Wayne write songs, yeah. and Wayne's a great orchestrator. They're, they're, they, they do everything. Yeah. They're, they do great stuff. But uh, they uh, wrote this song a while back, and I sang it in a show that I did right after the first of the year at Birdland, and then it just flew into my, back into my head. The, the lyrics are really good. About what we're about now. about now, what we're going through. So uh, this is called Blue Again.
a cool song, Wonderful. Angel. Oh, thank you very much. It's, that's a, it's it feels powerful. good to sing that song. Yeah, you it's have a, such power when you sing it. Thank you. It feels good. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's very affirming, it? you know. Mm -hmm. I felt it's it as I was doing. Very, you know, it's nice. It makes me feel strong. It was perfect. Good. It's perfect for now. Good. 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 It's good. hopeful. It and is its hopeful, intention right? is to believe That's it. and to have faith. And uh, I, I'm so moved by your doing of it. And even Mickey got and off Mickey, the sofa he's and, got so, and, and came, gave water, a standing ovation. Which is so sweet. Mickey's been sleeping, and he yeah. got up and gave a standing ovation. He was drinking. I'm just having a drink now. He's, he's, thirsty, he's a thirsty boy. He's our little, my little dog. Yeah, he's good. I, if you didn't know. Yeah. That was beautiful. Thank you, thank you, honey. Thank wow, you. thank you for doing it. Thank you. So that that does that's that was written by these wonderful men. The Wait lyricist is the the um, A and R man, uh, Joel, Lindsay. Joel Lindsay. That's right. The orchestrator is the uh, executive in charge of production. His name is Wayne Hahn. Hahn. And that's this so is nice. the beautiful six page album. This I portrait was done by my lovely husband, Lisa Kunis. Gorgeous. Lee. He did all these. He did oh, by the way, most portraits. of the art is oh, yeah, Steve's Steve. that you see. That's right. And this is our band, and I want to name everybody in the band. You do it, Billy. Oh, uh, well, J Jeff Barone on guitar. You're gonna, we're going to do a track in a minute. You're going to hear the band. Yeah. Uh, Jeff G Barone on guitar, Daniel Blass on drums, Tom Hubbard on bass, and, and the great Aaron Weinstein on the violin. Well, we miss Aaron. Mm -hmm. We wish he were here with us to yeah. do some songs. We do. He did half the charts on this album. Billy did the others. Billy is the musical director and producer of the album. We're yeah. getting some wonderful reviews, by the way, yeah, uh, on this oh. album, and that's exciting to be validated that way and to be understood. And good. The, good. the critics seem to be so cheery. And he's all choked up. Having a little oh, choke. He's all choked up. Fits. We have drank too up. much too soon. I know, he's looking at mommy. Come okay, on. so um, now are you going to sing a song? Uh, now I'm going to sing a little ballad. Okay, okay, good. good. Now I'm going to sing a little ballad. I'm just worried about him. Not, He's I don't okay. want you to think that I was just ignoring my dog because I'm being this narcissistic show business person yeah, who's right my, with my dog hacking away in the background. Are you okay, Mickey? Mickey, are you okay? He's okay. He's just staring at me, which means he has to go out. So we'll do this very quickly. <laughs> no. Okay, this is a song that needs no introduction.
Well, did we say that Aaron did the chart on that? Aaron did this arrangement. Aaron Weinstein. Was gorgeous. Beautiful this chart. Arrangement. I can hear him in the background in my mind when we hear it. He plays a beautiful violin obligato violin. solo on this. He does. Uh, we're going to hear him now on this track. We're okay. going to do one more song for you guys. Yeah. Uh, and thank you so much for um, tuning in again. Doug, do, do we have a lot of people here today? today? Yes, he's, he's not he's speaking, he's nodding. Everything's good over there? People are tuning in? He's nice. Got his thumbs up. Glad you were with us. Thanks, Doug. Thanks for filming. Um, and uh, we're going to do one more song. And this is from the album. This is a Jobim song. I'm going to make sure this is turned on because, oh yeah, see it turns itself off, this little... Oh, that's there right, it, it does, okay. yeah. Well, so we're going to do work yet. this one more tune, and then we're going to say goodbye. So thank you all very, very much. And hang in there. Call a friend. Check in with people. Connect. Connect. This Even when you time. feel so lonely, and when you feel scared, and when you think nobody wants to hear from you, I'm talking to myself now, call somebody somebody will be really glad to hear from you because they're going through this too. It's that thing they're saying all over television. We're all in this together. I love all of you who've been with us. Thank you so much for being with us. Let's go. Okay. Andrew Cuomo, I love you more.
everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a good week.